hello everyone welcome back to a new video today i want to pour the hearts and i thought because it's also gray and rainy and not wonderful weather i go with spring colors and i already poured my clear resin into my heart mode the mode is from modes and shapes and now i'm just mixing um, my white and i'm using for the first time for flowers the pigment drops so I'm quite curious how this is going to turn out and you see me mixing, mixing, mixing. I made this part a little bit pa um, faster, but I mix it the same way like I would do with the pigment paste. I mix it so that I can still see a little bit of the stick when I tilt it. And yeah, you see me there adding another drop. So I'm just making sure I have for me the right consistency. And then I'm just taking a little bit of the pearl color and it's a mica, so I have a little bit sheen to my flowers. <clears throat> and I'm also stirring this very well into my cup. So if you don't like me watching um, how I mix my white, just fast forward, but um, yeah, I just thought i show you. resin I'm using here is the ultra cast resin. I let it sit for a while and then I can, well, it's already in the mode. I think I set it at the beginning and now I can start dropping my alcohol or my resin inks. Sorry, they are resin inks. And the first color is the grape purple. So I do coaster by coaster and I just introduce the colors and then you can just watch me doing my pour. I snip here my piping bag and then I just go in spirals. You see it there. This I'm doing for all the three dots I made with my resin ink. And then I just let the resin work a little bit. Now I'm taking my next color and the next color is Amarat. This is also resin ink from Etta Art and I'm just doing the same, three drops and then I'm taking again my white and I do my spirals. Then I can start with my third heart and here I'm just taking the peacock. It's a resin ink from Octopus. And again, I'm doing the same, dropping my three drops and I'm doing the spiral and then I just let it work. I can use my last color and it's the butterscotch. It's a uh, resin ink from Octopus. There I go with two drops in each because um, yellow is always a little bit pale. So I thought I just add two drops and again I'm doing the spirals and now I stay with you till um, I finish this. Just three spirals again. 
And when you look at the other three coasters, you can see that the resin has been working already. But I'm a little bit afraid that I did not wait long enough that it will pull too much to the center, but I will see at the end. So there I'm just making sure that I don't have two big blobs in my center. And now I'm just starting designing my flowers. I go with eight petals for each one. Just pull the stick from the outside in and then a little bit um, a swirl. And I'm doing the same for all of those little flowers. So, and now the last coaster, and please apologize that I'm not talking too much through my video, but I caught a flu and I need to really watch my voice a little bit. Um, yeah, I got it from my boyfriend. He had the flu over New Year's Eve and New Year, and with me it started from the second. So, yeah, I just need to recover a little bit, but everything will be fine. So... This is now almost all my flowers done. So now they are done. And now just a quick torch. And then I come back for the next step. And look at this. The flowers really moved to the center, but now I'm coming to my back layer. But with the flowers, I, uh, they looked so promising, but resin still worked. And that's the thing when you use not such a thick resin, which cures faster, which doesn't have such a long working time. The Ultracast has a rather long working time. I think it's almost one and a half hours. So this is what's happening, but I'm still positive. Now I just use different shades of green. For the alcohol inks, I think I used the wood draft, I used the green tea, I used the olive oil, and I also used the butterscotch as a yellow tone. And now I'm just layering my green um, resin inks, and I want to do the crackle effect with different shades of green. So I don't know if it's going to work, if they are not blending too much, but if you don't try these things, you never know. With other colors it works, I made videos from this, but um, yeah, using the same shades, I'm not sure if they blend too much and then it's one color again. But you see what I'm doing, I'm just pouring them into my mold because there's also not much um, left, not much space left for my crackle effect. But I'm still positive that it works. So, and I didn't um, mix my green too opaque because I wanted to have a light shade of green. And now the same for my last coaster. 
just use what I have left in my cups. It's really sometimes also a matter of eyeballing, you know, how much do you need for your back layer. But I was quite okay that I didn't mix too much and also not too less. And now I'm just using what's left also in my cups to put into the center. I think it doesn't matter because um, I already blended colors. I made this puddle pour or I made this dirty pour. I think it's a dirty pour, isn't it? And um, yeah, I just put one color on top where I still have resin left. So I don't waste it and I have more of a basic also for my crackle effect. And now I'm taking my pearl color, the pearl mica, and I'm just pouring on top of my green. And there, please always be careful that you are not pouring it too fast because you can easily overfill your mold, especially when you only have like two centimeters, uh, millimeters, sorry, not centimeters, oh God, two millimeters of a rim then um, it's easy to overfill. So just let the resin move, let the resin does it magic and just see what will happen. So here's also a little time lapse and you can see how the mica is pulling underneath the green tone and how it's doing the crackle effect. And I like the colors. It looks like um, those clover leaves, <laughs> really beautiful. And here's a close-up from the crackle effect from the back layer. And I'm really hoping that you can see some different shades of green on the other sides. But I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> so, and this is the next day. It was 24 hours later, but because... Um, my layer was quite thin. It's still a little bit soft. So when I show you the result, I will put them upside down again. So nothing happens to my backside. <clears throat> Not to my backside, but the backside of the coasters. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, let's have a look for the first one. Yeah, look at this. Look at this yellow. I mean, the flowers lost their um, design because everything full, pulled to the center, but I still love them. I love the shade. I love the background. And like I said, I need to put them again upside down. The yellow looks brilliant also with the green. It's really a fresh color. Very, very colorful. <clears throat> and I think this is the Aronia. No, the Amarat, sorry, the Amarat from Etta Art, also very beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see all the shades of green. Um, next color is the grape purple. Look at this, really love them. <clears throat> and the next one is the peacock. And look at that. Yeah, you can see maybe a little bit of shading from the green tones, but in the close-up, I think it's better seeable that there are slightly different tones of green in my background. With this, I love and leave you. I thank you for watching and take care, guys. Bye-bye.